situated in the remote northwestern Pakistan and midway along Pakistan's around 2400 km border with Afghanistan is a wedge of rugged terrain dotted with sparsely populated valleys. This is the tribal homeland of the legendary Pakhtun tribes renowned in history for their proud traditions and fierce resistance to the British colonial rule. Roughly the size of Belgium, this tribal borderland is now the federally administered tribal areas or FATA of Pakistan and enjoys a semi-autonomous status. It is divided into seven administrative districts, the tribal agencies and six smaller buffer zones, the frontier regions or FRs. The economy of FATA is mainly pastoral but as only 7% of the land is cultivable and as the region's development needs received insufficient attention in the past, poverty is endemic. Left to fend for themselves, for a majority, it has been a simply measure of survival against the odds, rendering them vulnerable to exploitation by the extremist forces. The consequences of the decades of neglect stood revealed in the aftermath of the tragedy of 9-11, as this tribal land became a flashpoint with security implications for the entire region and beyond. All this had to change now. The pressing need for an enduring strategy to stamp out militancy from the tribal borderlands through rapid economic development gave birth to Fata Development Authority in the year 2006. A new era of sustainable economic development has thus commenced in the tribal borderland of Pakistan. With its well-planned and timely executed projects aiming at sustainable development in the key economic development sectors of small dams and power, minerals, industries and skills development, Fata Development Authority has in a short span of seven years already delivered inspiring results and its motivated workforce of skilled professionals is confident of shattering the myth of resource scarcity in FATA through careful planning and innovative approaches of public-private partnerships wherever required. Water means life. The scarcity of water in FATA borders on the extreme. Drinking water is fetched from long distances. Realizing the challenge confronting it, Border Development Authority is working hard to turn around the situation by building small and medium dams at feasible locations all over FATA. Work on several such projects has been in different stages. Another project of Gandau Dam in Moment Agency is aimed at providing drinking water to more than 22,000 population of Ghalanay, Miyaganukale and Durbakhil areas and identification of other potential sites is an ongoing activity. So far, two dams, the Dargaipal Small Dam in South Waziristan Agency and Dande Small Dam in North Waziristan Agency have been completed. The Dargaipal Dam waters 688 acres of land. The Dandai Dam in North Waziristan irrigates 2,000 acres of agricultural land. Nurzada of Spinkale in South Waziristan is all thankful to the Fata Development Authority as he feels more secure as far as food is concerned while working on his land irrigated by Dargai Paul Dam. <laughs> As small dams like Shinkach in Afar Tank, Zoa in Khyber Agency, Kant in North Waziristan and Motosha in Moomin Agency are near completion and work on Ragagan Small Dam in Bajur Agency and Gandau Dam in Moomin Agency is underway. These are destined to bring positive impact on the economy of the tribal communities living in these areas. Other than catering for the water shortages in the tribal land through small dams, some of these projects of Fada Development Authority will allow low-cost electricity generation. 
to promote health and education and to turn the wheels of the travel economy, Fata Development Authority is also exploring alternative energy sources. So that the youth of Fata may have the much needed opportunities to engage in constructive activities. As the country is facing acute power shortages and Fata is hard hit by this crisis, looking for non-traditional energy sources is also need of the hour. Fata Development Authority's solar energy projects offer a way out of the current energy crisis to remote and underdeveloped tribal communities in Fata. The Latin Sara Daushi, Latin Sazamuk Bazar Ki, Lakadir, Sulat Zushu, Village Sasad Bawat Sasad Banawa, the Latuna Lakatola Spabadi, the Divan Lakamuta Hart Sulate. Living in remote areas under extreme conditions, people would fetch water from miles away, but water pumps in their vicinity have made life easy. Fata Development Authority's solar water pumps are protecting people against waterborne diseases by providing safe drinking water. تو وو موت در غټ مساله او د سلور پم د موږ در جات ګزاره وشوا د ګر شاپیر لا کورنه دي شل پنځه ویز دیرش کورنه دي children can now study under bulbs in schools and in their homes and hospitals will have water and power even hot water this ra che kum zamung pa daftari kar ke kum ti zi ra gla no mung laka de fdm der jat pashkuru where cars have extended in marketplaces. Fata Development Authority is striving hard to extend the scope of its solar energy projects to communities across Fata. People will be able to access information, making communities less vulnerable to negative propaganda. <laughs> Twenty years back, little was known about the immense wealth buried deep in these mountains. Now the hidden potential of Fata stands exposed, thanks to years of arduous efforts by experts. More than 24 minerals of commercial importance have been discovered in these hills. Marble, manganese, coal, chromite, copper, gold and even oil and gas reserves makes Fata stand amongst the richest parts of Pakistan. This is attracting tribal entrepreneurs and even investors from outside, offering exciting prospects of an economic turnaround in this tribal land. Apart from the direct employment opportunities, the spillovers of the mining are significant for the entire tribal economy. Fada Development Authority is encouraging public-private partnerships and building infrastructure to facilitate the investors. It has built more than 150 kilometers of roads across Fata for easy access from mines to market. These roads have enhanced production from these mines. <laughs> But there are coal miners in some areas still using donkeys and mules to bring coal downhill and working in tough and inhuman conditions. There are hundreds of mines like these waiting to be connected to the markets. Fata Development Authority is aiming at connecting all the mines of Fata to the markets. To ensure the safety of mine workers, Fata Development Authority has established a mine rescue center in Hangu, bordering Oragzai Agency. As mines are scattered across the landscape of Fata, more of such rescue centers will be required to cope with the hazards of mining and for timely response to emergencies. <laughs> No, Rashi. To overcome the dearth of capital and expertise, Fata Development Authority is actively encouraging joint ventures in mining. Setting an example of public-private partnership, it has partnered with Messrs Royal Foundry, a private firm for mining of the manganese deposit in Takht area in Bajor Agency. Commercial production from the project has commenced.
The success of this project has paved way for replication of such ventures in other areas. There are other challenges too. The value of the produce is lost due to archaic mining methods. In case of marble, around 75% is wasted in the processes before the finished product reaches the market. In order to prevent wastage, enable people to extract maximum value and prolong the life of precious natural resource. At the same time, FADA Development Authority, in collaboration with its partner agencies, is aiming at change in the traditional mining methods through an innovative approach of demonstration effect. FADA Development Authority's model queries at different sites will demonstrate that by using latest technology, wastage can be minimized and the high quality output would fetch high price in the local markets and would also open up prospects of export. To improve the downstream processes for value addition, a marble city in Moment Agency is being set up. Work on the project is fast nearing completion. The Marble City stretches at over 315 acres of land with boundary wall, security pickets, water tanks, modern cutting and finishing plant, training centers, bank, hospital display center, a machinery pool and an export facilitation center. To ensure round-the-clock power supply, an independent grid station has been established. The deep and is bad money coming to the Marble City is start. She has multiple platoonery, many woody. Demonstration effect through the model queries up in the hills and state-of-the-art processing facilities here at the Marble City are destined to bring a positive change. The efforts of FADA Development Authority are not limited to the industry associated with minerals. Dara Adam Khail, a historic town in FR Kohat, is renowned for its gunsmiths. To modernize and legalize the local gun manufacturing industry, Father Development Authority is planning to set up an industrial state in the town. Environment-friendly techniques promoted by Father Development Authority through such projects will reduce health hazards, preserve the natural habitat, and tribal communities will benefit from their precious resources for a longer period. There can be no sustainable economic development without investment in human resource. FATA Development Authority is striving to stimulate the local economy through skilled manpower. Its skill development programs through institution-based training projects are focusing on training them in different trades to cater for the market needs. More than 6,000 have benefited from this program. Building on its efforts, FATA Development Authority has dovetailed its skills development program with internship and entrepreneurship training programs. Over 2,000 got on-job training in various institutions. Through the entrepreneurship training program, 1,500 youth are given trainings to help them start their business. Public-private partnerships are forged for the purpose wherever required, and 35 women's skills development centers are established through local community-based organizations. More than 1,000 have started their own businesses. Around 900 have found jobs. Some have found jobs even overseas. <laughs> Women are also receiving special attention in the skills development programs of FATA Development Authority. 
82 skills development centers have been established all over FATA. Over 13,000 women have been trained through these skills development centers so far. Around 3,000 of these women are now putting the skills learned to use, deriving reasonable incomes and supporting their families. The skills development program of FATA Development Authority has kindled new hopes in the young hearts and have also raised their expectations. Many have found jobs and those who have not want to set up their own businesses but have no means to do so. These trained men and women of FATA are looking towards the government now and asking for a helping hand and financial support to start their own businesses. These voices cannot be ignored in the interest of regional and global peace. There is a dire need to do more to prevent the youth of FATA from falling in wrong hands and engaging them in productive activities. The cost of neglect would be unaffordable this time. The team of dedicated professionals at FATA Development Authority is aware of the challenges of development in this remote tribal borderland of Pakistan. These challenges may seem immense but are not insurmountable. The achievements of FATA Development Authority and steady progress of its ongoing projects in the four sectors of small dams, minerals, industries and skill development inspire it with a vision of FATA put firmly on the path towards peace and prosperity through sustainable development denying the space for extremism. Speeding up this process, which is need of the R, will require more financial resources, FATA Development Authorities current annual budget of around 700 million rupees is insufficient for the enormous challenges of development in FADA faced by the organization and needs to be enhanced. With the support and commitment from its development partners, FADA Development Authority is confident that the vision of a peaceful and prosperous FADA is destined to be a reality in the very near future.